Hello again. Just wanted to do a quick video here on my wood stove insert. So we did a wood stove insert rather than a traditional fireplace in our house. Um, mainly uh, because we like to have fires and if you do a traditional fireplace, most of your heat goes right up the chimney. Uh, and if you do an insert like this, you can control the firebox. And this particular stove has a blower. So this is a, a buck stove. I believe it's a model 74. Um, a buddy of mine uh, is just got one of these and he's putting it in replacing his gas logs in his regular fireplace and he said it's going to be 6500 bucks installed uh, he doesn't have to run pipe all the way up because he's got a masonry fireplace so basically they install it and then they have a starter pipe that goes part of the way up the chimney and then uh, he's good from there uh, this one we did we don't have a masonry fireplace uh, chimney all the way up so we had to run stove pipe all the way to the roof. But uh, it works really well. Uh, it's got a multi-speed thermostatically controlled blower. Um, so you can turn it off or you can turn it on, and run it on high, turn it down, run it on low. And it only comes on when uh, the fire is hot enough to pump out some hot air. So when we've got our fire really going, we run it on high and it's a little, little noisy. I don't know if you can hear it. But uh, a little bit, you know, it's mostly just the air moving, but um, it's, it is pumping out really hot air right now. And we have a pretty big home. Um, the main floor here is 2,500 square feet. It's a it's a great room, you know, big great room. And in the winter time, um, this thing uh, keeps it warm. The the furnace doesn't come on. So I did it mainly for uh, kind of off grid as an off grid feature of this house. Um, we do have backup power, and the backup power will run the the blower on this so if the power goes out the grid goes out we can still run this uh, on our backup power which is a solar solar system with batteries and uh, yeah still have heat so it's kind of nice we're we're in the mountains of western North Carolina and it can get cold here so it's always nice to have heat um, so we, we run it pretty regularly. Uh, you can stuff the firebox full uh, at night. Just, just jam as much wood in there as you can. And uh, you know we this this here controls the uh, the, air, the airflow. So we cut the air all the way back and uh, just let it kind of smolder in there and. Uh, when we jam the box full and go to bed at night, uh, it's still pumping out heat when we get up in the morning. So, uh, yeah, it works well. Um, and if you're looking for uh, an alternative heat source for your place, uh, this is not a bad option. So, hope this is helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.